Hey guys, Big One Eight Five Eighty Nine here with Jeff Benson from Haunts for the Homeless and Spirits Rising Haunted House. We're here in New Hampshire yet again. We're here to do another haunt review for Haunt Tober Tour Reviews 2018. Today we're going to Nightmare New England, or as why we know it back in the day, Spooky World. Let's head in. All right, so we made it out, guys. All right, so uh, very impressed. I'm, I'm actually quite shocked at some of the scenes I saw there. So we go right at the top, guys. Uh, creep Factor. Creep Factor, again. Jeff, explain Creep Factor. Uh, well, it's different from being scary. Uh, creep Factor just gives you that uneasy feeling as you're going through whichever uh, attraction that you go through. And it kind of leaves you with a little, oh, God, you know. Yeah. Well, what do you say? Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, so Creep Factor to me would, would have had to be um, probably a three out of five. Um, there were, it, 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 I guess it, we, we came on an off night, and I guess they, they didn't have as many actors tonight. So it, it, the sets were great, and a lot of the sets had some creepy elements to it. Um, I feel like if there was more actors in the night, I think it would probably be a higher scale rating. Right. Um, I think that overall they did a really good job for what they did have. So I'd say three out of five for me. Uh, for the Creep Factor... Uh, some of the sets were really good. The uh, the Carnage and the Brigham Manor uh, stick out right now. Um, uh, going through that junkyard for Carnage, that was pretty good, even though they they were lacking some actors. Um, it was kind of creepy going through there, and I went we went through uh, Brigham Manor twice. Um, I just I love haunted houses, literal the haunted house, haunted houses, and uh, I I like the scenery. It was it was creepy in there. It was dark. And uh, some of the sets were really good. So I, I give that uh, four out of five. Yeah, the, the, the Haunted House probably was one of my favorites, I got to say. It, it really does kind of tickle my fancy going through what feels like a real house when you go through. Right. So it was really nice to see that. Scarability is another one we talk about. Uh, I would say for scarability, I think, um, I said, given on a good day, with enough people in there, it would be a four, but for me right now, it would be a three and a half, because I think they did do their job. The actors did do their job in interacting with the with the patrons, and a matter of fact, I didn't hear a lot of boos and ahs and rars. I heard a lot of actors actually interacting with the uh, the patrons and talking with them as they went through. So definitely a three and a half and out of five for me. Did you say boos or oos? Booze, ooze, ahs, and raws. Oh, I said booze, which we could use right now. But anyway, uh, the scare factor was good. Um, I know Ben got got a couple times. Um, so that's thumbs up. I love watching Ben get scared. Uh, scare factor, uh, I would have to give it about 3.5. Yeah, like I said, it, it get, I got to give it some thought, like I said, when it comes to this. Like I said, they told us that they are kind of having an off an off season right now. Like I didn't have many actors in some sets, which is fine. This is why, but the thing is like, we, we judge it off of that. We don't judge off of like how many people were there. We judge how we feel going through there. And like I said, it went perfect. Three and a half for both of us for that. Um, actors makeup and props. I would definitely say that when it comes to actors makeup and props, it definitely gets a solid four out of five. A lot of, a lot of the actors, they have really good makeup. They have really good masks. The props are on par. They're actually, Play, they're playing their part perfectly to a point where I, I'm actually really thrilled to say that those clowns made me want to get in a clown costume and clown around with them. Yes, I heard me. Clown around with them. So definitely a four to five. What are you saying for the for the actors' makeup and props? Uh, the props were good. Uh, the actors, uh, f for lack of actors, they definitely made up with their uh, costumes and makeup. The, uh, the actors that were there, they were definitely... Uh, on cue, uh, they did their job. They did it well. Uh, I give it a four. All right. So overall rating, guys, for for uh, Spooky World or Nightmare New England, I definitely would say it probably ranges between a three out of five for me. I think that, like I said, it, it it's gone through some changes over the years. It's not gone any bad changes. I think it's great. I think what they're doing is great. I just think that, like I said, when they're on a good night, when they had more actors. I feel like it will be more lively for the actors. They can do more, but because we had, they're kind of like short staff right now, they can work with the guys. So three out of five for me. Personally, I think it was a step up from last time I was here. I did the we did the uh, what the blackout, uh, where you just walk around all the haunts with the uh, light stick, so you couldn't really see the scenery. 
I'm, I'm a scene person. I like going to haunts and looking at the scenery and the set designs. So you couldn't really do that with the blackout, but uh, being able to actually see what's there, it was definitely better than the blackout. Uh, set design, actors, all around, uh, give it a uh, four. Four out of five. All right, there you go, guys. That's the rating for uh, Nightmare New England, or AKA Spooky World. If you guys want to come down to New Hampshire, check it out. Spooky World, it's a good place oh. to check out. Come up, not cool down. come down. Come up, come down, <laughs> whatever, you know, but wherever you're coming from, come to Spooky World. Uh, it's one of these haunts you can go to uh, in New Hampshire, along with uh, Fright Kingdom and Haunted Overload. These are all ones you can all check out in, in New Hampshire that are all worth it. Um, this has been Big Benoit 589 and Jeff Benson from Haunts for the Homeless and Spirits Rising Haunted House. Signing off, guys.